Hello and welcome to this tutorial about installing Moodle on your website. So we are going to see first of all how to download Moodle from Moodle.org then upload it on your site and install and configure Moodle. So let's begin. Here I am at Moodle.org. From here you will see an option for downloads. When you go to downloads, it will show you the latest version of Moodle that is available. Here you will see the uh, latest release of Moodle and from the available options you can decide which one do you want. For example, at this moment, there is Moodle 3.9 and Moodle 3.9 Plus. I will go with Moodle 3.9 and I will download the zip file for the same. Once this has been downloaded, go to the C panel, go to the File Manager. From the File Manager, go to the location where you want to install Moodle that is the folder of the domain where you want to install Moodle. It could be the root domain or it could be a subdomain. So go to that specific folder, upload, select the file, choose the file that you have just downloaded Once the upload is complete, go back and you will see that there is the zip file that we have just uploaded. Select the zip file and go to extract. Where do you want to extract it? Is to the destination folder that is the folder of the domain where you want Moodle. It has been extracted successfully and you can see that a folder by the name of Moodle has been created. Now what this means is that Moodle will be available inside the domain name subfolder Moodle. Now if you want that Moodle should be available on the domain name itself be it the root domain or the subdomain then you must select the Moodle folder open select all move specify the domain folder and move files Now you can see that all the files have been moved to the domain folder where you want the Moodle. Next step is to create a database. So we will go to the C panel under the databases section. Go to MySQL database wizard. Create a database. Give the name of the database. Remember what you are entering in the database name, that is not the complete name. The complete name includes the cPanel name as well. So go to the next step. And from here when you see the message, you have created a database named. Now here you need to copy the name of the database that is available within double quotes copy and paste it locally on your system next step is to create the database user give the username add the password you can use a password generator copy the password Select, I have copied this password in a safe place and use password. 
click on create user from here copy the complete username within the double quotes select all privileges next the user has been added to the database now you need to go to the domain where you have uploaded the files for Moodle If in case you get a message that the PHP version does not match the required PHP version, just go back to the cPanel. From there, go to the PHP manager, select the domain on which you are trying to install Moodle and select the PHP version that you want on that specific domain that is currently 7.3 is what is required and then click on apply now when you will go back to the domain where you're wanting to install Moodle now you have uploaded the files but it has not been installed there is a difference between installing and uploading the files so the software resides there but it has not been installed for that we have to go through the procedure of installation of Moodle on the domain where we want it for that you will have to go to the domain name forward slash install dot php either it should appear on its own or you can go to this address manually choose a language I want it to be in English next confirm paths that is to the web address that is the URL or the domain name where you are installing Moodle next is the Moodle directory that again is the directory where you are installing Moodle for example the directory or the folder uh, where you have uploaded the Moodle files now this folder also belongs to the domain where we are trying to install Moodle in this case in my case right now I am installing it on a subdomain so my web address is learn.ramaedutech.com that is a subdomain of Rama Edutech the Moodle directory is learn which we created for the subdomain in the tutorial for domains so if you want to know about how to create a subdomain and link it to the root domain please go to that video tutorial I will add the link in the description for that next is the data directory what is the name of the data directory that you want it will be created if it does not exist already so choose the path and the name of the directory that you want to create click on next here you need to choose the database driver so I will go with the default that was provided that is improved my SQL click on next here you have to add the database details so the database host is localhost database name that is the name of the database that you created database username again what you created and saved database password tables prefix let it remain to default database port and unix socket let this be empty and next this is the copyright notice for Moodle confirm continue here it says your server environment meets all minimum requirements 
continue click on continue so the installation is complete after the installation is complete you need to enter the admin details that is the username for the admin account password first name surname and the email address these are the required details that you need to enter enter a correct email id because this will be used for any kind of recovery emails or emails from moodle itself here you can choose who can see the email address of the admin so i have selected hide my email address from non-privileged users and who are the privileged users that is the managers and teachers of the Moodle site or the course and then you can enter the other details always choose the time zone because that will help you to maintain the time of activities that you plan during the course update profile only lowercase letters are allowed for the username so let's see update profile all right so here you can enter the website details what is the site full name the site short name front page summary so you can enter all of this here again you need to update the default time zone manage authentication self-registration is disabled by default it is disabled and this should generally be disabled only because it will help prevent from spammers save changes all right so these are required now you need to complete the site registration with Moodle. Enter the details regarding your website and register your site or you can skip it if you want. And that's about it. Here we have the Moodle website ready. So that is about this video about installing and configuring Moodle on your website if you found this tutorial helpful please subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials thank you very much